So how do you do Aztec math? I mean, what is that about? Hi, I'm Jimmy. I've been teaching college math for nine years now, and I'm here to give you a little bit of insight as to what Aztec math has been all about, because frankly, it's been a one complicated subject. As a matter of fact, folks have been working on it for a long time now, and only in April of 2008 has there actually been articles published actually stating what some of those Aztec symbols mean. One thing you definitely have to understand is that ancient civilizations back in the day when they worked with mathematics, they used a lot of symbols and the Aztecs were no different. So in April of 2008, a group of people came out with this study on analyzing Aztec symbols. Now, they used a lot of these symbols for land plots for purposes such as tax assessment and other financial matters. Now, the standard unit of Aztec math is actually the rod, which is a line. Now, one rod is equal to 2.5 meters. And end in this April article of their findings, they were able to decipher what the other symbols meant as it related to the standard unit of one rod. Now, once again, remember, one rod is equal to 2.5 meters. And all the other symbols that you will see very shortly will indicate how these symbols relate to the standard unit of one rod. And there's going to be quite a few fractions, so here we go. First, you have one hand, which is equal to three-fifths of one rod. One arrow, which is equal to half a rod. Now, there are three other major symbols that they were able to decipher. They used one heart, which is two-fifths of a rod, one arm, which is equal to one-third of a rod, and one bone, which is equal to one-fifth of a rod. Now, if all of these parts look like they're part of the human body, well, that's what they used back in the day. They used their human bodies to try to measure things. And so here you have five of these body parts, and these are how they relate to the standard unit of measurement of the Aztec math, which is one rod. So I'm Jimmy, and that offers you some insight into Aztec math.